Okay, do we really need another video showing you how to do this to your golf clubs? And I think the answer is yes, because this is real. I watched everybody else's. I am not artistically inclined and I could not make it work the way the videos went. So I got a little despondent, but pushed on through, kept going. And now I'm going to show you part of it in real time how it works. So I just bought some lime green nail polish. I actually ended up um, buying it from Amazon because I was trying to match the uh, lime green that Vokey will put on if you do this on their website. Um, and I couldn't find it in public. You would think there'd be tons of lime green nail polish lying around, but apparently there's not, at least not in my town. Here's a little montage of me shopping for that. I'm too sexy for my love. Too sexy for my love, love's going to leave me. Uh, how okay i don't think this was supposed to be in here but i don't want to anyway so yeah so uh just some nail polish from the from the old Hirsch tater uh grocery store and um and the problem i had in watching the videos was that some people use like a credit card and a lot of folks use an enamel paint which is true it probably will hold up longer um, and they were very swish very good at um at getting this done mine mine was kind of messy um it, it just didn't come off. These guys would scrape the club and it would pop right off. And I'm like, wow, that's amazing. And then I'm trying it at home and thinking, oh no, I think I, I've ruined my irons. So I had to do it a couple times. I, it, it took a couple different coats and that's probably um, user error. It's probably my fault, but I figure there's other folks out there who maybe don't have an art degree and would still like to do this. Um, so. I would put the nail polish on, let it sit uh, for a minute, wipe it off. It would always take some out of the grooves. And so I would do it again and again and again. Um, and I'll show you what it looks like, at, you know, absolutely in real time. But it really was just soaking the, soaking the thing in, in some uh, nail polish remover. And you can see like on the video, people would slide that across and all that extra paint would come off. And that absolutely did not happen um, at all, even close for me. Uh, this is the part where I'm going, oh crap, did I screw this up? It's absolutely possible. Um, you know, this isn't my job. And then I just started rubbing um, and not caring, but I'm like, oh, I need this green off here so I don't look like any more of an idiot than I already do um, with a, a painted nail and, um, some crappy clubs or at least crappy paint job on great clubs so anyway but you can see it starts coming off and it it just wasn't as bright as everybody else did like i said some people take like a business card or a credit card and slide it across um i felt like letting it dry helped a lot um and then eventually some kind of hard rubbing but it all came off and i've this is like uh, maybe two months ago, maybe a month and a half, and I've been using them. They still look great. Um, the final video or little end of this video will show you what it looks like, um, and that's after some play, you know. And I use these wedges a lot around the green, and you know, short approach shots. So they're getting plenty of play and getting plenty of dirt in there. So again, I'm going to show you here in just a second, like literally real time, how it takes. I mean, this is going to be awesome. Um, I mean, really, hold, hang on to your seats. You know, it's definitely a you paid for the whole seat. You'll only need the edge uh, kind of thing with four minutes of basically maybe here. I had to I got a little bit in the groove of where I didn't want it. I could have covered it up, made it all green. It would have looked great. But I decided to try to maybe scrape a little bit out. I wanted a, a little more precise and, uh, you know, it's just me. All right. So here, here we go. This is literally as I'm doing it. So you can see I've already done a coat on there. I'm just trying to dop it down in there, get it in the lines as much as I can. I don't know if that's right. I don't know if that's wrong. Like, again, here we are on a YouTube channel watching paint dry. 
I'm literally just sitting here waiting. So I would wait for a little bit. I think the first time I tried it, I let it sit for longer and it really didn't seem to make much of a difference. Like doing separate coats seemed to work out better for me. And like most things I do, this isn't necessarily the best way. This is just my way. Um, so again, swim at your own risk here. I'm not saying that everyone should jump out and do this, but this is how it worked for me. So still sitting there, a little bit of sun on it, backyard, nice day. Um, again, hang on to your to your kids, guys. Keep your hands and arms inside the cart at all times because we're, oh, okay, here's some action. So see, wiping that off, uh, those little rings where the nail polish was were making me really nervous. So I'm being really gentle and trying to go across so that I don't drag the paint out of the grooves. And here I'm getting a little more nervous, like I hope this doesn't stay on my club. I hope it doesn't ruin the finish because I really like these jet black clubs. Um, and I was gonna, my, I think my family was gonna get me um, a custom club with some metal printing and all that, you know, that had my name on it and all that, but it was my birthday and and time was running out and there wasn't time to wait for it. So uh, I, I like these jet black clubs. I think they look pretty pretty slick, but I really think the lime green makes it pop. Um, I've seen some with white and other colors that really, you know, really make it look good. But you can see now, you know, it, 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 it disappears. That uh, nail polish remover really dries up quickly in the sun. So I'm doing another coat because again, it just wasn't as pretty as I'd like it to be. I want it to really pop. Uh, it also makes it easier in the bag that I can distinguish between my, what do I have here? I think a, a 50 and a 52 and a 48 maybe. Is that right? 48, 43, 48, 52, 60, I think. I don't know, 56 as well, but the 56 is, uh, is also funky, but it's an older one. Um, so again, the other videos I watched, man, these guys really just got, none of this happened to them. I mean, I felt like they really took it off quickly and efficiently, and maybe it's the paint, but I, I watched a nail polish guy, it was the same way. Um, I was afraid to let it dry too long. And I, you know, I was worried about the nail polish um, messing up the club, but I, you know, look, if it, if it hits that, the bounce and, and it's okay, then I'll be all right here. Um, but you can see, you know, now it's staying in there pretty well looks pretty good um, definitely came off around it and I showed it to a friend that I did and he's like oh wow how'd you get the paint down in there do you use like a toothpick no and I saw some people using toothpicks and other things to get it down in there but it just I don't have that kind of skill so you know it came out pretty nice and there you go there's the final uh, final design so hey like and subscribe thanks for watching this long